we've gone full steam ahead to put everything in place to open the office within the given mandate of six weeks, as the Prime Minister said in her speech. Um, we, I don't know if you would have seen, but we have actually sent out four uh, applications in the uh, paper and the media and so on, and we will be commencing the process very shortly in terms of interviews in order to onboard the officer which we place in the Chinese office. And we have also gone uh, to actually get the office set up over there, so both are happening at the same time, um, to ensure that we do get some person in that market. That market is a, a market that is booming, and we firmly believe that um, it is one of the markets that we can re-engage and to get some um, investment into Barbados and to, you know, to help boost the economy here. Um, so when was the last time we had it? We, we stopped the office? When we... Um, we had an office there, or, or a couple of years, one person doing marketing and consultancy work for us there to get investors in. Um, but we were looking, this is something that we were looking at from since 2018, actually, in terms of re-engaging the market, but basically looking at how we should go into the market to make it more efficient, cost-effective, and a success in terms of uh, getting uh, investment out of that market into markets. And how big would this office be? How many persons? Well, it'll be our standard office. Our, our office is normally manned by two persons, which is a, a, a senior business development officer as well as an assistant, um, in order to to get the process going. Um, if we do see the need at that at some point in time in the future to expand the office, then we will look at it. Then. But initially, we will go with the standard size of our normal offices that we have, both in New York and also in Canada. Essentially, what is the hope of uh, developing an office in China? What is the intention? Because China is basically going to be, the, it is a booming economy and basically we see a heavy potential in attracting persons to Barbados to operate from Barbados as the persons in China are looking to expand their businesses. Um, and also, you know, you're looking at the high net worth individuals from in terms of the Chinese and so on coming in to live, work, play in Barbados. So it's an all-encompassing um, package we want to give them and says, hey, this is a good place to be. You can have fun, you can have your family life, but it is also a very good place to operate given the new changes in the tax regime and the new substance legislation that will be coming on board and so on. So we are hoping to really get some um, heavy investment and companies out of China.